Hi guys, uh, Mark Weir here. Uh, what I'm doing is a bit of a quick round. Uh, I'm about four days into my validation training. Uh, I've done this for, for many, many years. It's something I came up with for myself. It's more of a personal thing. It's not thing, it's something which you advertise. I explain to some of the guys why I push myself at certain points of, uh, uh, of the week. It's normally about four, four weeks four weeks in. You have uh, one week of validation training with three weeks off on, on roughly. Validation training, what I mean is it means to, to validate myself, to assess myself, to see where I'm actually at and what I need to improve on. And I think anybody who really wants to go far and want to progress and right through a career, especially if it's a martial arts like myself, um, you can use this in many ways, is to push yourself through. Uh, and uh, what you do, you pick all the best guys you can, best gyms, and you try and get access to, and uh, you just challenge yourself. Uh, I was quite lucky through my career. I started off validation training with uh, the best guys in the gym. And what I would do is uh, put myself, if someone's going to stand up, I'd work myself like that. Just grappling, jiu-jitsu and so forth, I'd work myself there. And uh, what I'm assessing is, uh, besides my fitness and strength coordination, I'd also see where my technical ability is. See what it's at, see if I get caught, see my weaknesses. And uh, once I've validated myself or assessed myself, I'd know what I'd have to work on for the next three weeks, ready for the next uh, week of validation training. And this is done um, once a week. Uh, it's normally six days, not seven days, six days. And uh, I would start off with, I'd normally wake up in the morning, probably press ups, press up sets. Normally works out to about four and a half minutes. I normally do two sets of minutes. Then I do 45 seconds uh, with 45 seconds rest, 30 seconds with 30 seconds rest. I'm taping myself right down for my upper body strength. And the thing is, is I'm not counting, I'm just smashing it out, trying to last to the end of that minute mark. If I find it's too easy, then I'll do uh, three minute rounds. Okay, so I'll do a minute, again, each one of a minute rest three times, then I'll do 45 seconds, with 45 seconds rest three times and so forth. Beyond that would be straight uh, strength training, weights training, and um, I used to have an exercise bike, a stationary bike, so I used to tend to go for a run, different running, I used to do jogging, sprint training, and heel running, and through, that's through the week. And each time I'd be doing this, is, again, it's just push myself, push myself. When I finish, get back, I used to do cycling. And that is my forward toning down the last two minutes. I used to blast as hard as I can and as long as I can. And this is done for the whole week. Then you've got the next training when you go to the gym, whether it's hitting bags or whatever, you just, you're just on it. You've got to constantly try and push yourself. Probably a good time to jump in ice baths or cold baths, recovery. Uh, probably be the best time to book a physio session at the end of the week or osteotherapy uh, to the body recover. But at the, end, at the end of the session, at the end of the week, the validation week, your level's bound to go up. And it allows you to really taper off. So for me now, and I'm not fighting, at the end of the validation time, uh, it's nice because I ta taper off, my level's really good still, and I can assess what I need to work on. So it's not a physical thing, it's more of a technical. You're seeing where the holes are, um, where you need to improve. And I think anybody who wants a, a long-term career in fighting, they need to do this for themselves. This is not uh, based on you against someone else. It's about, against, about yourself, improving about your, against yourself. So you can see from week to week, uh, day to day, where your flaws are. And then after the week, uh, keeping notes, the best, best thing you can do as well is video it. I've got um, a lot of video footage on myself doing validation training with all the top guys I used to come, have coming through and I used to be able to assess myself where my weaknesses were, where I can get better and if I didn't have the answer, I'd try and find it. That's the good thing about uh, martial arts. If there's a position you're stuck or technique you're not that good at, you can work on it and you can find people who's better at it and then you can ask for the help. So that, that's my uh, take on um, validation training. Uh, it is a mindset, it's about pushing yourself, it's about de de uh, developing, sorry, uh, to the best of your ability. And now I stop fighting, it's a great test for me to keep myself relevant. So the guys coming through the gym, I know that I can still have something to offer them, not just now, but later on down the line. I think if you don't have stuff like this, eventually you're gonna hit that peak and you're gonna start deteriorating. So that's Mark Weir, remember the fact that you for sweat, work hard, sweat more, and stay young.